hello friends uh, today I am going to show you how to use empty power drum kit 2 in LMMS so uh, first of all we need to download this uh, VST uh, from the site so site is powerdrumkit.com so this is the site so you can download from here and you can so they have provided some sample that you can listen to. This is very very you know very very good uh, tool both for beginners as well as for the experienced people uh, so I'll show you uh, and this is a screenshot so currently this is available on PC and Mac and couple of they have shared a couple of uh, a DAO which is already they have tested it and uh, LMS is not in the list so I'll show you how you can use it so once you download it uh, let's go to LMMS so once you so first of all you need to get the VST and once you will uh, go to the directory this is the first thing you will get it so all we need is to skip it you will go to this page which is uh, the drum kit page so you can use your mouse to uh, click it as well as you can use uh, the keyboard as well Like this and it has got a mixer from which you can change you know, the sound in a different way like your compressor you have the volume and you, know, you can either you know like you know, mute it or unmute it so it's up to you and another powerful uh, feature that it has is the groups that is provided which is very very nice and uh, we can use it to build any you know a drum uh, drum sound for a song so in this uh, video I am going to you know uh, demonstrate how to build a small composition and then we will use it we will move it that composition to the song editor so let's see something from my head and for each group you will get respective key You can see you can change the volume and you know, the you can This is the method so we are going to use the same Let's stop it and now we will see how we can move that to some uh, composition So for other tested tool that is shared by uh, this uh, this website uh, LMS is not so we cannot just drag and drop on the sound editor 
so there is a work around we can do is we can just open our notepad plus plus and we'll go here and we'll just drag it to notepad plus plus so as soon as you drag it you can see uh, it will be saved to the document so just save it and then we can close this one and we'll go and import it so file import and we need to go to document so where is my document go to users So here you can find it and it will be imported as a sound for your SF2. So now we have this MIDI composition, we can just copy it and paste it here. Let's move this one and we have to do one more thing before it can work. So we have to copy the entire you know, music set to C3 so just all you need is to drag it in the C3 and we are done so now if you play it you can you can play the music and now you can see which all you know how which all you know keys are being placed and how which all instruments are played you know, played this is a good way to learn it. How the drum from here? So hope this video is helpful to you, and now you can use it in your composition. And that's all for my end. Thank you for watching.